Hey guys, today we have a sponsored video by HarperDB. HarperDB is a database as a service. Uh, when I talked to them, I was really impressed to know what their goal was. And they said to me, their goal was not only to have a, a cheap, fast, and effective database, to, to be so to be the most simple to use while still having a great set of features available. And one cool thing about this is not only can you go and get up and use it today, there's a free tier for you to get going. But say you need something a little bit larger, you need a little bit more size, a little bit more RAM, all that sort of stuff, you'll have the ability to do that and save $250 using coupon code Dylan Israel. So it's so simple that in the next six and a half minutes or so, we're going to show you not only how to create an account, but how to spin up multiple instances and clusters create some tables and schemas all in about six and a half all right so we're gonna go ahead and create our email account here uh to go and sync up it's gonna be pretty quick now uh, about the pay tiers, it starts as low as $19.99 a month. So if you go and get that with the $250 off, essentially get a year for free. But their free tier is free forever. It's not like a free trial for you to go and, you know, they're going to force you to sign up to to next week after, you, you know, you get going. So you're going to get an email code that you'll need to go and just validate before you go and set your user and password. So it's going to be a temporary password to get up and going. I think you're going to go and obviously enter your new uh, unique password. So now that you've done that, all you have to do to get going here is we're going to create two instances that we can, uh, you know, go and manipulate. And we're going to create some credentials. Um, whatever you do uh, in your personal items, don't do admin and password. <laughs> uh, it's scary how many organizations I've worked at that have done something very similar. Uh, so, uh be, be safe. So we're going to get our instance here. Uh, again, you can see the coupon code here. Uh, if you're interested in getting up and going and you have complete control over, you know, instance storage, instance RAM, all that sort of stuff. So take advantage of it. Now, we're going to spin up another instance here in just a second. And again, we're going to create it. And you can see how quick this is. It's not a, oh, hey, we need to have you know, something. And, and by the way, each instance is individually configurable. So you can sort of uh, find the one that works for you, uh, you know, depending on what it is that you're trying to do. Um, but you don't necessarily have to have uh, both instances have the same uh, dependencies or same settings, I should say. All right. So now that we have our instances all, all synced up and you, you can see they're connecting here. And uh, getting up and going, we got our statuses, everything's a okay, and you can see we have our um, Ahrefs to go and access them. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You'll get an email with all the documentation that you'll ever need, all that sort of stuff, and you'll get one for each instance, obviously, so that you can get up and going. By the way, can I just say that I love this um, gradient? It's like one thing I've really <laughs> liked about. Like I like good UI UX. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, create some example data real quick. Now, uh, name your schema, or your table, whatever it is that you want. We're going to do it in our cloud one. And you'll see here we're about to upload about 50,000 rows of data so that you can uh, go and just get it. And so just right now, we've, we haven't uploaded yet, but we will. Uh, but uh, you'll have a, if you have a URL where you can drag and upload it. So if you're coming from maybe a, um, a database that wasn't quite working for you, and you just want to export the data and get it up and running. You saw how fast that got up and going, and now you've, you're able to migrate your data over. Pretty straightforward, you know. It's not too bad. We have all this data here. You go through it. Uh, we're not going to um, necessarily write any queries in it, but something to keep in mind is that you can go and write very uh, complex queries. And this is going to be some more uh, simplistic examples here. But you can do more than just, oh, hey, let's filter on here. You can do anything SQL can do. You have the ability to put JSON in, but query by SQL so that you get those performance gains and so that uh, you're able to really have some powerful options in your, in your uh, database needs. Now, we're going to go ahead and create a cluster here to, to use as well. 
Um, you're going to want, and I have some, some notes here, you're going to want to make sure your, your name and password matches. And so we'll switch between our, we'll now jump over to the Cloud2 cluster. Excuse me, Cloud2 instance. And let's go ahead and you can see how, how simple it is just a switch back and forth. Um, one thing I really do like about the UI is the simplicity of it. It's not over complicated. Some of these uh, com competing uh, database um, as a service, they, they just have everything everywhere. There's about maybe eight to ten actions on the screen at any time, which is really nice without having to overwhelm you. So we're gonna go ahead and divide us, devise a schema here for our um, two tables uh, here. Uh, dog and, was it dog and dev, excuse me. And uh, we're gonna go and publish from our cluster with these two tables, or excuse me, breed and dog. Oh, did I say dog and dev? Breed and dog from our dev schema. And gonna upload some uh, additional test data again. Uh, now we're going to drag and drop instead of coming from a, a CDN where we have our data. Really, both options are available for you. And when we jump over here, one, one cool thing we'll see in just a second is that we can actually see image previews, which is nice. Uh, I can't tell you how often I've stored things in the CDN and, you know, or we're storing things in the CDN and we want reference to them, but we're not sure if the items are correct Then we have to go and do all this sort of stuff and it's uh it's quite a headache so I, I really do like the preview feature and now you can see where we can drag and drop and update at, add additional things you don't have to do all your updates at once and you, it's as easy as editing one two three like that so now we can go and change the dog name you'll see, and any other value that we have in there by just editing the database directly and updating the values like so and you want to of course change your ID as a is our uh, Got to make sure we have um, some good data there, right? Our ID there is our primary key. So you can see there that we have our Bode and Bode 2 as we just updated it. Since recording the video, HarperDB actually sent me a nice little feature uh, video here to showcase some of their SQL querying. It's pretty cool. Uh, one of the cool things about HarperDB is that you can that not only do they support SQL, but they support NoSQL databases as well. Whether you want to write a, a SQL query here to just pull some data and with some filters and matches out of the database, or whether you want to do something a little bit more complex where you're going to update some values or add some records, you not only can you do it, but it also has a history there so that you can keep track of your previous queries. God knows that I've lost my queries numerous times in the past, and I can uh, really appreciate that feature. So HarperDB, um, one, one reason that they're uh, giving you such you know a free tier and giving you basically a year for free in the paid tier is they just launched. They they literally just made their launch, I think, um, eight days ago, something like that, when I when I started recording this video. So they're really trying to get it in your hands, get it in the developers' hands, get it in you know aspiring developers' hands, get it in organizations, so that they can get get to market faster so that they can you know save you some money so that they can just get it get get some feedback and get get it in use um you know this is like the the ideal time to take advantage of um harper db and uh, what they're having to offer because usually when an organization is launching they want to give you the best value just to try it so if you guys are interested check it out uh, you know uh, give it a shot and there's a link in the description where you can do that and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.